Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is very exciting because as you well know I am a crazy F geek and when something like this happens I just get so 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 excited even though I'm not um, related to this story at all. So obviously you guys read, have read from the title today marks the longest flight ever. Um, well this flight is actually different from the Perth London which was one of the one of the lo longest which took off uh, earlier this year so this flight actually uh, is basically a re-inauguration if you guys know what I mean so basically um, before 2010 until 2013 uh, Singapore Airlines used to have a flight from Singapore to Newark New Jersey on uh, with the Airbus A340-500 but as the as the price of fuel uh, was getting too high this flight became unprofitable for Singapore Airlines so they had to basically cancel the flight and then they retired their entire fleet of Airbus A340-500 so today on October 11 Singapore Airlines is relaunching this incredibly long route with the Airbus A350-900 ultra long range this is not the average um, Airbus A350-900 this is an aircraft uh, that Boeing designed for these ultra long haul flights and Singapore Airlines is the only airline that has had uh, this aircraft on order and we don't know if this will be successful and maybe if it is successful maybe other airlines will order this aircraft as well but today this aircraft is just stunning from the outside and the inside because I'll put some photos up um, on the screen now this aircraft doesn't have economy class it's only business and premium economy and the reason for this is because if you have more passengers then it's more likely that you have a lower payload which means that the aircraft can fly for a longer for a longer time also there are a lot of um, different things inside the aircraft from the average uh, A350. For example, the ultra long range A350 is one ton lighter than the standard A350-900. Also, the forward cargo hold has been deactivated um, as a means to have lighter weight. Also, they have removed one out of two potable and waste water tanks. And it offers an increased fuel capacity of up to 165,000 liters, which is 25,000 liters more than the average A350-900. All these adaptations of the fuel system, such as the center tank venting architecture and fuel quantity management systems, and all of this was added without adding an extra fuel tank, which is amazing for the airline because there's less payload. Anyways. This is going to be such a huge achievement for Singapore Airlines. I hope that the flight goes well. And yeah, if you want to have more updates of this flight, check me out on Instagram. Um, it's called Insider Flyer. I'll be updating uh, everything about the flight as it makes its way to Newark on the 18 and a half hour, 18 hours and 30 minute long journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.